Hello everyone, this is Scott from TheDailyExposition.com. Today we'll be showing you a script I wrote that will make any Media.net advertisement responsive. Alright, let's jump into this real quick. This is the simple script, and I removed the CRID and the CID, which is your publisher ID and your advertisement ID, so that way you all won't be able to just write mine and use it on your site and get me banned, or vice versa if anyone else uses it. It's actually a fairly simple script. What it basically says is if the window length is greater than or equal to 960 pixels, show this size ad unit. And you can change these to whatever you want. This is what I've used. Um, if the window size is equal to 728 pixels, but it's less than 960, then show a 180 by 150. If it's anything smaller than a 728 pixel screen, and this is the width of the screen, um, show a 160 by 90. I actually use this on my site in the in-post advertisement. The uh, ad is set out to be like this. On computers, you'll get a 160 by 600. On tablets, you get a 180 by 150. And anything smaller, such as a mobile device, you're getting a 180 by 150. Um, this helps quite a bit due to the fact that advertisements on your mobile device they can't take up that much space or else you're going to detract users from using your mobile version of your site and due to it being responsive media.net does not offer any version of responsive advertisement units therefore this is your only real alternative for a responsive ad unit or you'll have to hide it unfortunately if if they follow Google AdSense policy, you're not able, you're not allowed to hide the advertisement. Meaning, if you put it, you can't do a display none. And say, if the screen size is on a mobile, you can't display none. So this is one of your only real alternatives to that. And what it basically is doing is allows your site to be fully responsive, even with Media.net advertisements. And keep in mind, AdSense ads are already responsive and our leagues above uh, media.net in this field but media.net still has a very high payout very high cost per click which is very valuable to you and that's going to make this a necessity towards you so if you have a banner advertisement on a 960 by on a 960 screen you can do the 728 on a 728 you can do the 620 by 120 and then anything else you could do a small little banner or use a 300 by 250 um, if you want to set this up on your site it will be there will be a link in the comments down the description below to get the script but the simple setup of it is your CRID is the ID of the advertisement that you'll be using so you, whatever advertisement unit you're using put the ID here and then put it here and for your last one put it here and then come down here where it says script ID MNSC do contextual.media.net.nmedia.js.cid this is your publisher ID you can actually get the script from one of your advertisements it'll have the CID already in it copy and paste that into here and then try it on your website and it should show a responsive media data. Keep in mind since it uses a JavaScript call, it means that it won't shift automatically. It will stay that size until the page is reloaded. So if you have a website that is fully responsive and you've it's on a mobile device and you flip it, so that way you rotated the screen, the advertisement is gonna stay the same until the user automatically until the user reloads the page but if it was on a mobile device they'll get a still a very small advertisement served and a smaller one even when they look at a small one even when it's reloaded and that is it thank you very much for watching if you have any questions about this put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you thank you very much for watching and goodbye